what is going on guys so this is a video I wanted to make uh, a while ago because it really comes up often what do you buy with your bonds so one of the things about this server if you're not familiar with it is the fact that it is very not pay to win you can get donator status everywhere and anywhere for example right now because the Rosalos in the game you can straight up just buy a membership for 55 mil which will take you an hour tops maybe two depending on what you're doing so there's that. Uh, if you slay, which I, I highly recommend this. This is what I do. This is what John does. Slay. Save up all your points for $5 bonds. 750 points. Doesn't take too long. Especially if you can get a E-ring. Uh, the first thing you should always buy, though, is the form. It's for Slayer Helm. If you want to be lazy, just buy it. But uh, what we did is we actually got it from like, from K4s and, uh, and whatnot. Let me reply to this guy. You can get bonds from the trivia shop, vote shop, achievement shop over here. There's tons of different ways to get it. You can get it from mystery boxes. You can get it from. You actually get a bond from Crystal Chest. So if you haven't gotten one, then there you go. You can. Uh, so we're gonna stick around 500 points because whenever you get a bond, you get 500 points. Now just keep in mind, whenever you get a membership ticket, the uh, the membership ticket it does not give you points. It's just status. So the bond is the is the bigger one. Where it actually gives you points. So every bond will give you 500 points. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to test out what it's worth buying. So first off, let's get five of these oak chest ones. We'll see what we get from this. All right, so we'll do this a couple times and we'll uh, see what we can't get. So we just got ourselves a five dollar bond, buy five oak chest ones. Honestly, right here, this is not bad in my opinion. Now, obviously, you can sell a bond for way more. Always keep that in mind. If you're actually donating for the bond or if you're not an Iron Man, and you want to trade it up, uh, trade, I can't think, I don't think you can sell that one, and you want to trade it, you know, sell it to people, that's the best way to make money, but if you're like an Iron Man, for example, and you can't trade it, then, uh, you know, this amount of money is not bad, let's do it again and see what we get the second time, alright, so we have it again, let's open them up, the main thing we probably want from these is a, uh, another bond. Now you can also get like the high-end stuff. Let me actually open up the file and see what all you can get. So yeah, I'm looking at their list. In terms of the high-end things, you can get um, you can get raid box, you can get bandos items, armadillo items, Christmas cracker, uh, you can even get the monkey pet, you can get, on, on, not even on the very rare, on the rare scale, you can get uh, like bludgeon pieces, $10 bond, um, the primordial crystals and all those so you can actually get some decent some decent st with that being said this one was pretty much trash for uh, untradeables you can actually trade this but I don't think it goes for much and then the spirit shield isn't that fancy either so that was pretty bad so we're what I'd say we're one in one I say the first one was good this one is bad let's do another one all right so let's open up these I accidentally already opened one um so you got 20 mil and a uncut onyx, depending on if you have void or not. This could be decent. I'd say this is a tie, so really we're one, one, and one. Um, let's do one more. We'll see what happens. And then we'll move on to a different uh, a different box, or a different uh, series of boxes. We'll try doing uh, the more expensive one. Dragon boots. This is This is better. I right, see so right here this is probably our best one so all in all I would say this is not a bad idea you have a lot more opportunity you have a lot more chances and the chances of getting a bond are pretty high so it's possible that you can make your money back obviously we just did four didn't get a single bond but it, in terms of rates it's not very high obviously there's a lot of items so you could get you know any number of things we'll sell all this please this sells three mil probably be worth some selling to other players rather than that but uh, as you can see, 38 mil. That's definitely our highest cash stack. So let's try, let's try doing what is what is the five dollar chest? Uh, it's five. All right. So let's do let's do just one of these, and we'll see what happens. Just five. Tyrannical ring. But in terms of actual value, that was probably not as good because you can see this is 17 mil. You can dissimilar it for Uber components, or you can use it. It is the best melee ring. If you're not familiar with the server, Tyrannical Ring has improved stats, as you can see. So, it is actually worth using. Let's open up a couple more. All right, so we opened up four oak chest ones, or like four inventories of oak chest ones. So we'll do the same with this. So these are uh, five dollars each. So we'll see what we can't get. 
Torture Kid, Bludgeon Axon, and Decorative Armor. Now, see, the thing is, in terms of value, we've, we've lost money, for sure. We could have just gotten oak chests to, to get more money. So I would say if you really want to try to get one of those big items, let's, uh, let's do a full inventory of those, and let's see how long it takes before we get something really decent. Just, uh, five. I think if you really want to go for a big item, you should try your luck with these. If you want more of a conservative amount of money, you're going to go with the oak ones. So, I mean, crack a tentacle, that's really good. Honestly, 30 crystal keys, I would take that. Some people would probably be mad. I guess I'd be mad if it was from the five. Pistol dagger is a good spec weapon. Sammy spear. So, I mean, you're, like, like, like I said, you're getting a really good item. But if you're going for actual cash, you're probably going to want to stick with the lower ones. Whereas, if you're going to go for some sort of big item, like maybe you want to increase your chances at raid bucks. Now, based off of the, all of the uh, the chests have the same uh, rates in terms of very rare. So, if that is true, you were just going... Now, obviously, it's a little different because some items have less and some items have more, which will definitely affect your rates. The main reason I don't give out rates on this server is because there's just so many different things that affect it that it's so... Like, you know, I don't, I don't... For one, I don't have this information off the top of my head, so to look into it. And it would take such a long time to figure out the exact rate. You know, I'd have to... It's just not worth it because it's dependent on so many different things. So realistically, at this point, I would say stick with Oak 1. So now let's try one last thing. Let's try doing two. I don't want to, you know, there's a couple variations you can do. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll try a couple real quick and we'll just see. Uh, keep in mind, you can also get clue boxes for uh, 50 points. So you can get nice 10 clues. Uh, let's do that real quick and I'll just show you what, I mean, what, what you could expect. Not too long ago, these were improved, so... Uh, the, the chances of a master clue, obviously, we just got two and, and, and three, has been improved. So, let's up all of these. So, we ended up with, what, uh, three master clues, uh, three hard clues, two mediums, and, and two easies? Two mediums and two easies, yeah. Uh, that's actually pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, again, that's, that's, clues are, you know, obviously a little different. It all depends on the person, because you're not really looking for money, you're looking for the rare items, and uh, mostly components. Obviously, you can sell some of the stuff, it's just, I just don't think people would do that. People don't generally tend to sell clue stuff just because it's common, and you don't want to sit there all day selling stuff. Uh, so let's try a couple different variations, and then we will, uh, you know, do an overview. Alright, so here we have uh, a tier, a shoot, a, a chest 2, and then a chest 3, so equaling to $5. So each one of these... Uh, would be one. So this is four attempts right here, which is you know kind of our sample size we're using. So let's uh, let's try this first one. So that's actually pretty good from the oak chest too. And then from the three twenty crystal keys again. That's something I would like, but I don't know if other people would. Onyx and a blessed spirit shield. Blessed spirit shield's a little bit better. It's not bad. A medium cash rate. That's actually really and a five dollar one. So this is this could be. A, I think I'm just getting lucky. Wow. Um, so this turns out this could be actually a decent strategy right here. A three and then a two with your five dollar one. It seems like the threes are good. Let's open up a full inventory of threes and see what we get from those. Um, teak, teak, just three. So let's say you just bought a bunch of you got a bunch of bonds from Slayer or whatever. Um, oh, did we get a four? I think we, yeah, we got a four. I honestly, I'm thinking threes might be the way to go. Shoot, let's try let's try fours and ones though, because I remember designing these originally, and I I remember four was one that stood out to me. Although they've been changed a lot since then. Um, as of right now, I'm leaning towards doing a three and a two, but let's see what let's see if the fours can't win it. All right, so we have the four and the one. Let's check out the one and the four. All right, it's all right. We got kind of lucky from our final bond. Nice. The strategy seems like it might be about the same. Ooh, Mahogany 6. Nice. Direct set. And then a quiver. Let's do our Mahogany 6, because that definitely counts. And a Tyrannical Ring. That wasn't bad, but honestly, I would say 3 and 2. I didn't expect 3 and 2 to be decent, but that was good. Let's open up some more, maybe. We'll see. We'll, that, cause maybe we just got really lucky in a short amount of time. Alright, so we got four more attempts. Let's uh, get started. Onyx Sword. That's not bad. Sword actually has a pretty good price. Also, Uber Components, if you want to take that route. Odium Shards have Uber Components as well. 
Um, that was obviously not as good as the first time, but that wasn't bad. I mean, you could you could live with that. In terms of value, we probably lost on this time, but that first inventory was so good, I, I would still think it's worth it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you found anything better, maybe buying the, uh, the clue boxes is the way to go. Sometimes crystal keys are in here, and sometimes we have unique items. But I figured I would, I'd mostly go with these because these are always going to be here. And all of these items are more luxury items. I don't think it's ever really worth using for um, your points on. Unless maybe you want to save up for rapier. I know that a lot of Ironmen uh, save up all their points for rapier just because they don't trust getting rapier from anywhere else. Rapier is an event item, so every event we do, it'll be there. But it's also always going to be rare. And it is on the uber rare table, which, you know, I still, I have yet to hit. That has been out for a long time, and I've still not seen, I have not gotten a single drop myself, so... Yeah, there's no guarantees, but thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.